This is the brand new Peplink UBR Plus dual modem LTE router. Join me for our first look. Hey there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and Peplink has just released this new dual modem CAT7 router called the UBR Plus and it is at a great price point at $849, offering now a dual modem setup that is not as higher end as some of their other router choices, making it a more approachable option for those just diving into their mobile internet setup. Now, what we love about this is it does have the dual modems and they are category seven modems. If you look back on the video that Chris just did going over why the CAT7 is appealing, uh, this is the new minimum LTE modem that we recommend and it does have full support for all three of the cellular carriers, T-Mobile, AT&T and Verizon, covering all of the LTE frequency bands that are important and it has carrier aggregation for upload and download. It's a great performing solid uh, LTE modem that will be solid and future-proof for quite a while to come. This gives you that redundancy. So you can have two cellular carriers active at once. You can use Peplink speed fusion bonding to combine them together, load balancing, and auto failover quickly between the two carriers that you have active. What makes it more of an entry-level router, however, is the router features itself. Now I have here the Balance 20X and the uh, Max Transit Pro, which are on two different extremes of Peplink's product lineup. And this is kind of in between. It looks like their Max BR1 Pro shell. It kind of has a lot of the same characteristics physically of it, but it has the innards of the Balance 20X, which means it only features Wi-Fi 5, not Wi-Fi 6 like the Pro lineup does. It does have 900 megabit per second routing speed, but that is only for their Ethernet and Wi-Fi. If you are using a cellular connection, it has the same internal bus a situation that the Balance 20X says, and that cellular speeds can only go up to 150 megabit per second through its routing features, which might be a limiting factor. Now on LTE CAT7 modems, you're probably not gonna be seeing those cellular speeds that often anyway, so it's not gonna be too limiting, but do know that you will never see more than 150 megabit per second on cellular in this sort of router, same with the Balance 20X. Now, another downside of it is if you are using speed fusion bonding, the max speeds that it can handle is only 60 megabit per second. Unlike the Pro Series routers that Peplink has released in the last year, those can go up to 200 megabit per second when using that bonding feature. So those are the downsides of this router. But for most needs, this is going to be a great router, giving you that dual modem redundancy. Uh, if you're not ready to go into something like the Max Transit Pro, which features two LTE modems, but the higher end router features, or something if you don't want to go low end with just a single modem option, this gives you a great option to consider at that $849 price point, unlike the Max Transit Pro, which is $1199, and you can go on up to the Dual 5G Max BR2 Pro at $2899. So to give you kind of a scale of the options that are out there in Peplink's product lineup. Now we have a lot of information on Peplink's product lineup that our members have access to, giving you a head-to-head -head of a lot of these router features so that you can make a decision on which model is right for you or even if routers are the right option for you in your mobile internet setup. So our members do follow up with a bunch of our additional content um, and then we will be putting this into uh, some testing so our members can follow along in our testing in progress forums if you wanna see how this compares to some of the other options in Peplink's product lineup. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.